Hey, what's going on guys? PSV here and welcome back to a video of me today. I'm going to be showing you how to use the mod manager on the 1.19.2.1 update. So first of all, we're going to head over to the mod manager. So the new mod manager will look a bit like this, look a bit confusing. It has changed dramatically from obviously the further updates, but I'm going to try and explain to you the best as I can about the easiest way to use this. So simply, first of all, what we're going to start off is at the top. So you now have a search bar, so you can type for a mod. So say, for example, I was looking for the DAF mod. Just type in DAF, and it will uh, singly file it out. So it's easy to find. If you have like hundreds of mods, that is a great feature. You can also s sort the uh, order of the mods by name, author, or status. And also, you can sort it out by category. So if I want a truck, you just press the truck. If I was looking for a trailer mod, you can just find the trailer. If any, obviously, has them all. So how do I add a mod and how do I take a mod out if you didn't want to use it anymore? So simply what you want to do is click the mod and click this arrow here and that puts the mod in and vice versa. You want to click there or whatever mod that you want and you want to just press that and it takes the mod out. So it's really simple to take it in and out. So what I'm going to talk about here is what does this mean here? So when you add a mod you have this green button here. So basically this green light here means that the mod's active and it's compatible with that update. If you do have a red light, it means that no longer that mod is compatible for the game. So it means you need to remove it simply just by going onto your uh, Euro Truck file. Sometimes it does have a red, like, uh, red shape with an exclamation mark for it. It means that you've deleted the mod but haven't removed it off the game. If you know what I mean, you've still got the mod active in your mod file but you've deleted it off the file when you're not on the game. So that's what that means. So that's what the three colours means. So also what you can do is press this I here and it comes up with a little bit of information. Sometimes it has a description, sometimes it doesn't, just so you can actually see if it's active, other categories that it's in, or like because also you can sort it by category so it's in the other and what it is. If you press this button here, so for example, I'm just gonna favourite a couple of my mods, it kind of favourites it. So if you want to have you know you really love that mod there's nothing better you really want that mod in your game but you can't find it and you can't remember what the name is well if you favorite it before when you do act uh, add it to your game you can single it out just by pressing the favorite button and all your favorites will be there as long as you've clicked that start your favorites will be there so i'm just going to unfavorite these so see here as well you can add uh, the priority so obviously your maps want to come first, that's what I say, it's like the loading order of the mods, obviously the bigger mods are going to load first, so you want to have that priority. So for example, if you want to change the priority, instead of just like, you know, trying to remove them all, add them all in order, you can click this, you can down the priority or you can up the priority, for whatever one you want. You can also, if you just press single click increase priority, it will take it down in order. So that is pretty cool, so instead of, you know, fiddling about all in the files of how you want it to be loaded order, you can now fit it out on your active mods. Once you have selected the mods that you would like, so here I've got the star bu uh, Starbucks, St Stobart mod and the realistic lighting, that's what I use on this uh, account, you want to click confirm change and it's as simple as that. If you want to do want to access your mods again just click, just click mod manager and it's all here. So guys, sorry if I have rambled on a little bit, I hope you have now have a clear understanding how to use the mod uh, browser and the mods management. It is pretty simple of how to use it. Um, it is really simple and that is active on all your profiles. So guys, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed it. Please ensure to give it a thumbs up. I've been PSV and happy trucking. Cheers guys.